Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can transpose this data from rows to columns without using the transpose feature. What I'm going to use is the Power Query Editor to do what I want to achieve. So first of all, I need to make this list into a table, format it as a table. So on the home tab, you have format as table. I'm just going to pick one of these, it selects the data for me. My table has headers. OK. And then that becomes a table and as a name. So I'm going to call this input. Don't have to call it anything, but that's what I'm calling it. And then on the data tab, I can get and transform data from a table or range. So I've got it as a table. Just click on that and it will open the Power Query Editor. So what I basically want to do is have this, these as a row. At the moment, they're down as columns. So what I'm going to do, well, I've highlighted the first column. It's already highlighted. I'm going to go into Transform and unpivot columns. So basically what I need to do is unpivot other columns. So I've got that one selected. Unpivot other columns. And then it lists everybody and by all the months. So basically my name and then 12 months there, then the next person's name and so on and so on. And you've got the figures here. Now, if you want to group by anything, you've got group up there. You can group. If you don't like what you've just done, you can just delete that off and you get back to the original. I'll just do that, actually. I'll do it again. So just get rid of that. You're back to the original table. So if you make a mistake or you're not sure, you can just do it like that. So what I want to do now is I do want to group, and I want to group by person. So group by person, count, sum person. So that's what I want. I want a sum of the column value. That's the column value person. Okay. That's what I want. So it's done it for me. And then I can go back to home and close and load and it will drop it back into this file as a separate sheet. And you've got the basic format there. And then the transform data there and if you need to go back into it you can just double click on that and you're back into this window and you can delete things if you don't like that and start again whatever you want to do so that's just a very quick video how you can use the power query editor to transform your data and group it so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time i'll catch you in the next one